Hi guys, I'm Hosea and today Jose Holmes will be diving into the Draft Master Plan 2019. We will be exploring the Northeast region today and if you have not seen our previous video on the North region, be sure to check it out. The Northeast region focuses on four factors which are creating livable and inclusive communities, supporting our economy, enhancing our commutes, and lastly, active green and blue spaces for all. Okay, let's take a look at our first town. Amokyu has always been a bustling town with unique neighbourhoods and delicious hawker fare. Under the revised master plan, it will be rejuvenated with new housing prestige and amenities while preserving its current appeal. New MRT stations from the Cross Island Line and Thompson East Coast Line will provide short commutes for residents to other parts of Singapore. Lentor Hills Just right beside the upcoming Lentor MRT station, this future neighbourhood will feature parks and commercial amenities that will also serve residents from Lentor and Teachers Estate. Thompson Nature Park Open last year 2019, visitors can explore the trails in this 50 hectare nature park that is unique for its rich array of biodiversity and cultural heritage as a former Hainan village. New housing at Kerman Baru Residents from this future housing development will enjoy easy access to Mayflower MRT Station and Bishan Amokyo Park. Cross Island Line There are two more new stations on the Cross Island Line. Amokyo Station will serve as an interchange between the Cross Island Line and the North South Line, while Tiki Station will provide a direct connectivity eastwards to Changi. Amokyo Walking and Cycling Town With additional 16km of cycling path added to the existing 4km loop by 2022, cycling and walking trips around the town will be even safer and more convenient. Serangoon and Haogang are mature towns with a wide range of commercial amenities, residential types and employment opportunities. New housings, community amenities and parks will be injected into both towns and residents will have a shorter commute time with the Cross Island Line across Singapore. ABC Water Projects in Haogang Town The ABC Water Projects along Serangoon Reservoir, Sungai Pinang and Haogang Avenue 10 will provide new community spaces and enhance recreation experience. Lorong Halus Industrial Estate this area is developed to cater to light and clean industry such as food, lifestyle and logistics, bringing more jobs closer to home in the northeast region. Besides that, waterfront parks and open spaces will be introduced for the enjoyment of workers and residents. Lorong Chuan There will be new residential developments near Lorong Chuan MRT Station with new parks, amenities and improved pedestrian connectivity. Cross Island Line Serangoon and Haogang residents will each have two Cross Island Line MRT stations, Tavistock, Serangoon North, Difu, and Haogang Interchange. Amokyo Linear Park This park will be a signature green spine that links the Bangkok, Seletar Hills, and Chinsan neighborhoods to the larger Coast to Coast Trail. Sengkang will have more amenities and lifestyle destinations in the coming years, and access to recreation and green spaces will be improved. Residents will also have more work options closer to home at Sengkang. Round Island Route Connecting the town to the rest of the island, the Round Island Route offers greater accessibility to recreation and green spaces. Park at Hampstead Gardens The rustic charm of the existing wetlands will be enhanced into a park for recreation and enjoyment of nature. New large childcare centres We will also see the establishment of four large childcare centres offering spaces close to around 2,000 children. These centres will be spread out across the town so that young families can have access to quality and affordable childcare services. The Over Asolata Aerospace Park This area used to house the family members of the British Royal Air Force personnel. Of the former colonial bungalows, the little have been slated for conservation and redevelopment for the Over Asolata Aerospace Park in phases. Amongst the first phase, we have for example, Willard Estates, the summer house, and we can look forward to new amenities with another 30 more bungalows in phase 2. Bangkok Integrated Development Slated to complete by 2025, this mixed-use development integrates Bangkok MRT station, a bus interchange, community club, hawker and retail amenities. The residential development, Sengkang Grand Residence, has also just been launched a couple of months ago as of this year 2020. There are still units on sale currently, so if you are interested to find out more about this project, feel free to contact us through Facebook, email, WhatsApp or a phone call. Pongo has changed a lot since the plans for Pongo 21 and Pongo 21 Plus were announced in 1996 and 2007. 
With the large greenery and nurturing waterways, the current Pongo is set for its next phase of development at Pongo Point and Pongo Digital District. There will be new homes and jobs, new tertiary institution campus, along with more community and recreation facilities in the future. Pongo Digital District One of the biggest highlights in Pongo is Pongo Digital District, which will house the new Singapore Institute of Technology campus. It will be a new environment for work and learning, and the future Pongo Coast MRT, a Northeast Line extension, will be completed by 2023. Residents will have easy access to this area and its new amenities such as a hawker centre, community club, and a bus interchange. We will be sharing more about this development in another video as well, so do stay tuned for more updates. Pongo Point District From 2023, Pongo Point District will progressively see about 5,000 new homes, all in the Green Heritage Estate, with easy access to dining, retail, and recreation amenities. We also have this 1.5km heritage trail along Old Pongo Road, which will link my waterway at Pongo and Pongo Digital District to Pongo Chetty. Our Bound Singapore at Coney Island There will be a new Our Bound Singapore campus on Coney Island coming 2021. A newly opened park connector along the southern perimeter of Coney Island will enable residents to enjoy the waterfront. Oasis Terrace A newly opened community destination by my waterway at Pongo, residents can now patronise Oasis Terrace, the next generation HGB neighbourhood centre integrated with a polyclinic for their retail, medical and lifestyle needs. Road Improvement Projects for Pongo Residents will soon have alternative routes to get to the TPE and KPE with the Pongo North Link and Pongo Central Westward Extension. Pongo Town Hub and Pongo Regional Sports Centre The Pongo Town Hub will be the all-in-one community hub and is slated to complete in 2021. Some of its amenities are for example, a regional library, hawker centre and community club. Right beside Safra Pongo, the Pongo Regional Sports Centre will house the swimming complex and a range of sports facilities. Alright, that's it for the Northeast region. For more information, please check out the URA website. We have also included the timestamp for different towns in the description box below. Thank you for watching and supporting. Do follow us in our social media platforms. Click like, subscribe and share with your friends if you find this useful. If you have any inquiry or a different perspective, feel free to contact us. You can also check out our other videos regarding the Draft Master Plan 2019. See you soon!